Kia ora, Helen Brums here coming to you live from Sun City in Arizona. Hope you've all had a super fantastic sparkling or sparkling magical Monday. What seeds did you get to sow today? What fun did you get to have today? I had an incredible day. I got a lot of stuff done. A very, I had a very productive day, but my to-do list Here is my to-do list for the day and um, immediately got sidetracked with a whole bunch of other stuff that got done, that end up getting done instead. Um, I have no, ex I don't know what happened. So um, my to-do list for today is getting moved to tomorrow. So we'll see if that gets done. <laughs> um, so yes, but it was a productive day, just not for the to-do list. The to-do list did not have a productive day at all. It didn't even have a check mark on it. Um, we do get distracted in good ways because I still had a productive day. I still got a lot of stuff done that needed to get done. It just wasn't on my to-do list. But that's okay. And uh, so let's see what else we do. Oh yeah. So um, last night I started watching a new TV series, and this is, I was, I was just sort of like half listening to it at first, and then something made me go, wait, what? And I had to wind it back, I go, did he really just say that, and wind it back, and I read it, yeah, he did. And it turns out this, it's hilarious, this show is called A Touch of Class. Now, I love British drama, I love British comedies, um, I practically grew up with them in New Zealand. But the thing I liked about this one is that this is a British comedy that is a complete parody of British police dramas. It is, um, I mean, they even play the, on the names, like um, Jack Cloth is the main guy there. And if you've ever seen Four Weddings and a Funeral, and there's the, um, the young gay guy, that's um, John um, Hannah, And he plays um, Jack Cloth in the he's a detective inspector jack cloth and then he gets a new partner who is called an old man a a a n n new word o l d m a n an old man um which of course gets played on quite well um but what was really funny is that they had to go to these gruesome um murder scenes somebody must must somebody i'll tell you this much somebody had a lot of fun with a lot of red stuff and they just had it sprayed all over the room because the idea was that these people have been hacked up with swords. Not that you ever saw any of the murders or anything and you don't know who did them. Um, but we got, but they, every time they go into one, there was like this police tape everywhere. Like you're having to go under and under and around all this police tape everywhere. Like every room was cornered off or the hallway you had to go under like, you know, there's police tape all over the place. Um, but then they get to like the third murder scene that happens later on. <laughs> The, the guy who, um, oh, his first name is ASAP, A-S-A-P, and I can't remember what his last name is, but he's the one that would, that meets the two detectives at the front door and leads them through the crime scene as to you know, how you have that detective who meets you at the door and they lead you through the crime scene and everything else. Well, he starts off with, this is, the, this is this house, it's got three bedrooms, it's got two bathrooms, one upstairs, one downstairs, its current market value is this, and he goes, and then we've got this piece here, and then and tells you about the this piece that's sitting on the wall there, and what its current value is, and this mirror over here has been framed in a worn-out thing, we don't have a price for that, it's not really worth anything, and he's like, and I'm like, hang on, you're supposed to be going through a murder scene, but all he's doing is he's giving an evaluation on the house and the contents of the house. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is hilarious. And But this whole program is like this, all these parallels, um, how police are so serious and when they're investigating the crimes and stuff. And these guys just, and it reminded me of things like, um, um, oh jeepers, Hot Shots, the movie Hot Shots, the movie Top Secret, uh, reminded me of those um, those sort of movies and Airplane and um, so think of all the parody movies that you've seen over the years and stuff and it is just the play on the words the um, yeah it just it was it just cracked me up and I'm so like oh my gosh this is absolutely hilarious and even how they interrogate people and um, they're supposed to be playing nice you know good cop bad cop and they kind of screw that up a little bit and and like one of the guys is like watching on a monitor Oh, no, it looks like he's looking through the two-way mirror into the interview room to watch the interview. 
Well, while the, when the boss comes in, whose last name happens to be Boss, Tom Boss is the is the um, the um, oh, what is he? Whatever the ranking is for the guy that oversees the thing, I totally went blank on that one. Um, and so the two of them are standing there talking. Meanwhile, these guys come up and they reach up and they unhook the stuff. And then they lift the they lift the window off the wall and walk out with it. So there's now a blank wall left behind. <laughs> so, um, but it was it's actually quite it's actually quite funny. It's very very well done. The play on the words, the um, just how they really take police procedure and they really. Um, do different things with it. They really do. It's um, and so if you want to check it out, it's called A Touch of Class. It's on the Brit Box, um, but it's actually quite funny. It's quite hilarious. So um, I think they've only done three seasons of it. I think it was. It's like six episodes in a season. I like this is what I like about the British, the British programs. They do their things in sets of three. You know, three and it's normally six, twelve, or eighteen episodes to a season. Usually six or twelve. Um, so I like those ones because they're just short seasons and they can go on for years that way. Um, yeah, what amazed me the other day is I, I was looking through Britbox and they had Coronation Street on there and I'm like, oh my gosh, I remember watching that when I was a kid. And it's a British soap opera. And they are on season 67. Season 67. And it's been going since 66, I think it is. There's something about Coronation Street and my birth date, like my actual day, month, and year. Might have started like a year before me, before I was born. But yeah, it's it's like one of the longest running soap operas out there. And then they've got East Enders there, and I can't remember what season they're up to on that. And uh, and I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, I didn't know they had seasons for Coronation Street. I don't even recall when I was growing up them ever, ever having a break. There was, it was one of those things that was on at like seven o'clock every night. Um, and you could see it like Monday through Friday, the only days they had off was Saturday, Sunday, and it was like seven o'clock at night, it was Coronation Street, and it only goes for like half an hour, and uh, yeah, it's, um, <laughs> every now and again I catch glimpses of it, like when I'm back in New Zealand, and my sister-in-law loves Coronation Street, and she DVRs it, and so she can sit and watch it at her leisure to catch up and everything else, but yeah, it's been going for 67 seasons, and I'm just like, how do they measure the seasons on something like Coronation Street when it's five days a week for 60 plus years? So that was that kind of just stumped me a little bit on that one. But anyway, um, so yes, yeah, so if you get a chance to watch A Touch of Class, just remember there's a parody on British police procedures. Um, I don't know if they would ever get away with doing one like, oh, mind you, they got away with Hot Shots and Top, no, it wasn't Top Secret. Yes, Top Secret with Val Kilmer, that was funny. I loved that movie <laughs> with the, the different names and all of that that everybody had in there. Um, that was that was a parody of World War Two, and then you had um, Hot. No, that was and Hot Shots was sort of like a takeoff of Top Gun and all those other flying movies. And Top Secret was all the World War Two spy movies. And yeah, so um, if you get a chance to watch um, Touch of Cloth, a Touch of Cloth, it is it is by far it is by far one of the funniest movies um, TV series I've seen for a while. Um, but anyway. I'm out of here. I've got a puppy that needs a W-A-L-K, and she is on patrol up there at the window, laying in her bed, and something has her attention, because every time I've mentioned her name, she hasn't even looked at me. She is focused on something out the front window, like, I don't even have a phone with me to take a picture, because it's over there. <laughs> but anyway, we're about to go for our evening walk. It has been a great day. We only hit, like, 83 inside the RV today, and it's like 100 and... I don't even know. I think we got up to 109 today, I think. I think that's what the high was for today. But we were very, very comfortable inside today. So anyway, that's it. I'm out of here. Hope you all had a super fantastic, sparkling, magical Monday. Let us know in the comments below what was magical about your day today. And um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please give us the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and get the little bell notification thing going so you know when we upload new videos. And we will catch you guys back here bright and early tomorrow morning for Tune Up Tuesday. <laughs> it's been a long day. Tune Up Tuesday is tomorrow. So have a super